So I just received the new Orange 6 channel receivers. This one is the R15 and this one is the R60. And I'm gonna both gonna test them both in the usual test setup, the Kitman Aerobatic Plane, and record the signals from the receiver to the servo with the MP3 player and I'm gonna analyze them with my own written program. Let's fly. I'll do the analyzing, of course, at home later. Now these are the two receivers. It's the R615 uh, in the rear uh, with the two short red antennas and it's the R20 in the front with one long grey antenna. Um, as you can see they are totally different receivers, they have different dimensions, uh, different positions of the antenna. Uh, the R20 has the satellite port, the R50 hasn't, therefore it's got two antennas. Um, be Watch very careful for the small S sign here, um, indicating the signal side of the servo connector um, that indicates the polarity. Um, especially tricky because the stickers, as you can see, are on different sides of the receivers. I tested them. Uh, I'll show you the results um, on the graphs on the screen. Now this is the result of the first test with a 615 receiver. As you can see here, there are several spikes, uh, several lost frames. Um, well, first of all, the servo movement. This is the channel with the servo movements. This is the here I moved the stick three times to indicate the start of the flight. Then I flew to an altitude of about 200 meters. This is the double servo input indicating the highest point of about 200 meters. This, this is indicating coming back to normal flying level again 10 or 20 meters height. The remainder of the flight is aerobatics um, in normal flight altitude and here after the landing I indicated this with uh, several movements of the stick. So the disturbances are mainly at the highest point of the flight um, it's lost frames, you won't notice it in normal flight. I repeated the test, this was the first flight, then go to the second flight. The uh, second flight was a bit shorter, uh, a similar result at the highest point. You can see here is the markings of the highest point. There are several lost frames and at the end of the flight there's also two lost frames. Um, that's after the landing. So, quite a good result. It's certainly better than the previous six channel receivers by Orange, the R610. Then we go to the 620. This was the first test flight with the R620. As you can see, not a single lost frame during the whole flight. It's the start of the marking the start, uh, going to the altitude of 200 meters. Uh, this is the marking coming back to normal flight level again, flight altitude again. This is aerobatics in the remainder of the flight, not a single last frame as you see. And this is the marking uh, after the landing. Also this did this test twice and another flight, a shorter flight, same result, not a single last frame. So certainly the 620 is a very good receiver. Probably it's a, a smaller version of the 7 channel receiver, which is also a very good receiver. I didn't have any problems with several 7 channel receivers. I tested four of them by now. Um, and the 615 with the lost frames, uh, I'll keep an eye on that, um, but certainly it's better than the previous 610s. But at the moment, the 620 is my favorite. Um, I'm going to use that for a while. Uh, if there's any 
new results um, of more receivers because of course these are only two single uh, receivers it's not a test of a whole range of them if there's any different results out of other receivers uh, i'll report on that separately thank you for listening thank you for watching bye